In this Togobetsu special class, we're going to analyze the Harage within Aiki Jujutsu, special in a movement which will end in a Sukume Nage. So the first thing that we need to understand about the Harage within the Aiki Jujutsu is that we need to attack the, the main uh, structure of the Hara, the center of the energy. So once we have uh, unbalanced this center of energy, then it is possible to apply the technique that is coming uh, forward. So in this case, we know that we study when we start studying, we start the situation based on this position because this is a, a beginner position. We understand that normally when someone tries to grab you, as I say about attacking the, the center of the energy, this attack will force my arm and my wrist against my own hara. So in this case, he will block all the energy that is coming from my hara to my back, back, shoulders, shoulders, elbow and wrist, and finally hands. So once he blocks it, make me in a very difficult position, put me in a very difficult position to react as my hara now is unbalanced. So in this case, when he comes to grab my hand, I'll let him pass. Although I'm going to move my body and position my arms in a way that through a vector that we are going to see, we're going to apply all the energy down. So this energy uh, in consequence, we will affect his hara and his main center of energy. So in this case, when he comes for a makochi, I let him pass, although I will move my energy down. So once I move my energy down, and please notice that although my arm is bended, the distribution of energy is efficient. So I force all the energy down because I'm partially blocking part of this energy here with this angle that I have in my hand. So once I have this, because of the musubi and this contact and union that we have through his hand on my wrist, this will work like a vector. So imagine that we have an arrow, arrow down and by this it will affect his hara. Now normally when we do this uh, to Oke, he will try a secondary attack because he's unbalanced. So I'm going to allow him to do, to do that. Although, I will also move, avoiding him to block my center of energy. So once he comes, I reposition myself and as his hara, as his hara is not completely balanced, it's easy to manipulate his posture because the structure is not fixed. And I will make him watch the sky. So once he has this position, his whole energy is now blocked on the lower part of his back and his heart, heart is completely unbalanced so it will be easier for me to manipulate this position so from here in circle again I have two options if I press a bit down and bring my energy down to my legs he will fall and I will release him and that's one of the effects but we can also with the Shudan posture. In Aiki Jujutsu, we also st uh, study the lines within the Harage on this arc. So, if he's stable and I try to pressure by coming forward or coming backwards, has condition to try to uh, regain his balance and the whole biomechanical posture we work in a way that he is capable to support this kind of pressure. But on the diagonal lines, uh, it will be a lot difficult, more difficult to regain this balance. So by attacking the diagonal lines, I'll be able to unbalance his whole structure. And that's what we are going to apply here in the supplement. We are able to analyze now the second option of this technique. Now once I'm here and he has his energy block on the lower back, I'm going to also circulate the energy in a way that by starting moving my hand and my body, I will affect his hara and as consequence I will affect his leg that will come up. And this will show that the energy is circulating in the right form. So once I start moving my hand, and start acting on his elbow, bringing his energy more down 
and promoting the circular movement. So now, once that he had his heart affected by this circular energy, I'm going to cut just like a sword on the diagonal. So I'm going to release his back here because he's unbalanced. And I'm going to step diagonal. So this is a more classical technique within the Sukhumena gaze study.